Uh, my name's Georgia Carter. I play centre back at Montrose. Um, I'm 23 years old and I live in Dundee and I work for our Broth Football Club Community Trust. So just tell us your journey to playing for Montrose. Yeah, so I started playing when I was younger for Aberdeen Ladies um, and then worked my way up from kind of under eights all the way up to women's team. Um, then I moved to Dundee, so I started playing for Dundee United for, I think I was there for maybe three years or so. Um, and then I decided to make the jump over to Montrose and I've been here, this is now my third year. And how have you found it from year one to now? Oh, it's been great. Um, I really love playing here. I started back when we were in the championship, so I didn't expect to be coming in and potentially playing in um, SWPL1, which is uh, the top league. So it's been really good um, and it's a really good team. And see, this season, let's just clarify. So the Scottish Women's Premier League, there's 12 teams. How many are full-time? Uh, so there's five full-time teams. And they are? So they'll be Rangers, Celtic, Glasgow City, Hibs, Hearts, uh, oh, that's five. That's your, so that, that's your that's five. <laughs> so with that sort of in, con in, in you know, to put it into context, how has, how has the season been right up to now? Um, I think the first kind of few games, it was quite a big jump from SVPL 2 to SVPL 1, which is probably apparent in our results. Um, it was really tough, uh, really challenging, but since we've kind of gelled as a squad, um, we've worked hard on the training pitch for getting there and we're getting seen results now. And just sort of take us into sort of like the mindset like of being like say successful all the way up to this season always scoring goals winning games and then coming into a league where you are where, where there was like you say the scores are completely different um and you, you clearly obviously are learning more, more about yourselves what have you learned about yourselves as a team and as say and yourself as an individual during this season yeah um i think the last kind of couple of seasons were quite an attacking team so we used to score kind of a lot of goals um go forward to keep the ball a lot. Uh, this season we've not had that luxury just because the teams are um, really good at this level. So we've just learned about kind of a wee bit more defensively, keeping shape, the importance of having that structure um, and kind of having different plans to go to. And it's probably more tactical now um, than it's ever been. So yeah, it's a good challenge as a player and as a team. That word structure, that seems to be quite important for actually sustaining and remaining in this league this season. Would you say that's the right word moving forward? Yeah, probably. You need to have the right kind of structure, the right set of players um, and people in different positions to kind of move about and adjust to whichever team you're coming up against because everyone's different. So you've got to play different ways to kind of get the result you need. Um, and in terms of your influences then to get to this point, to be able to play in that way, who's been your main influences on and off the pitch? I'd say my influences are probably just kind of watching other women kind of professionals and watching like the WSL down in England and looking up to those sort of players. Um, and I really enjoy just watching football as a whole. So my, I take my influence from kind of other professional players and just enjoying football. See how, see how the best do it so that you can be the best version of yourself. That's the aim. That's the aim. That's the aim. <laughs> um, getting, there, getting there as you do, getting there game after game. Getting there, yeah, getting there. In terms of obviously, you might have just touched it there, interests outside of you know, being on the pitch. Um, what else do you like doing other than football or is it just football uh no i do i do like doing some other things uh i love just going for like coffees um i've got a dog so she keeps me busy kind of going out for walks and that with her um i like just kind of going exploring new places going on drives um and different things like that yeah just relaxing just totally switch off yeah pretty much i'm not at work uh, <laughs> What I'm just going to rewind back is you said you work for Arborough Community Trust. So tell us about the work you do with that trust. Um, so I work just in the community trust. So it's just kind of engaging the community with the football club at Arborough. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just working with different age groups. So it could be kind of mental health pro uh, projects, um, a community cafe. So we're handing out meals. Um, setting up kind of things like festive friends. It's very similar to the Montrose Community Trust, so it's just in our growth. But how important is it that football clubs actually have a community trust? I think it's very important because just putting the badge on different projects, you'll see the uptake is a lot higher. Um, so going into schools, the kids will engage you more, um, or just going into um, uh, kind of tackle bigger issues. If you're wearing the club badge, you're more likely to kind of people come, will come up to you and speak to you, so. More I than a football club indeed. Yeah, it's more than a football club. Uh, so, so outside of work then, your music, who's on your playlist just now? 
Oh God, it could be quite a mix, depending on my mood. Um, been listening to probably too much like Taylor Swift at the moment, but then I get sick of her. So then probably a few kind of throwbacks. Um, bit of a mix really. There's not really a set genre or anything. And I quite like kind of indie music and stuff at times. Um, so like the Hana, um, 975 and things like that. Movies, TV series. Any that stand out, any you've, you've watched recently? Uh, to be honest, the only ones I'll tend to watch, like the series, will be kind of like, you know, like the thrillers that are like crime related and things like that. I quite like them. Um, so I always tend to watch them. Um, and other than that, I tend to get bored watching some movies. I, I'm too fidgety, so it doesn't really work. And in terms of being fidgety, like moving around, you just touched on it earlier as well. Holidays, places, is there anywhere you've been? Like you'd like to go again? Where is there anywhere that you, that you actually like to go and visit? Yeah, um, I went to Lanzarote last year, so going back there this year, it was lovely and warm, relaxing. So uh, I quite like going there. So right, also, so here's the fun part. You've got to know this your teammates over this season. Okay. If none of you were playing football and you were all just catching up in the pub as friends, who would be talking about their time as a comedian? A comedian? Um, I'm going to go with Jade for that one. Um, just purely because for the Christmas night out, she went out dressed as the Grinch and completely loved her life getting photos of people. So I think she definitely is good at making people laugh. DJ, who'd be playing the music? Uh, she'll hate me if I don't say it. So I'll say Cully because I think she backs herself as a DJ. Um, and to be fair, she has some good tunes as well. Movie TV star, who's got the look? I'm going to say Navy G just purely because of her stint on TikTok. And uh, yeah, that's the only one I can think of. Maybe G. Entrepreneur, who's got the big idea? The big idea. I'm going to go with... Hmm. The big entrepreneur. I'm trying to think of everyone's jobs now. <laughs> um, for the entrepreneur, I'm going to go with Beth, just because she always comes up with crazy things and just says random things. So I'm sure she could come up with a great idea. In, in amongst all those crazy things. In amongst things. all the crazy things she says, yeah. Duly noted. Um, who's the wise woman? Who would you go to in the team for life advice? Life advice? Um, I'm going to go with Tammy because obviously she's a police officer, so I'm sure she's got her life advice there. Um, and she's got a very cute dog, so if I go to her for life advice, I can speak to the dog. Future coach manager? Uh, I'll go with Anna Blanchard because she's does coaching, um, goalkeeping coaching, so I'm sure she's working up on that and quite uh, focused on the kind of coaching side, so go Anna. And last of all, what would you like to say to the sport supporters and sponsors? Um, just thanks for the support for the season um, and that we do kind of hear them when we're on the pitch and their support makes a difference to us, so thank you very much and hopefully we can see them coming down to more games.